is after 14 years I've decided to retire from professional rugby. Um, you know, after a lot of thinking and, and searching, I, I don't feel I can give uh, rugby what it what it deserves. You know, and uh, you know, I've, I've given everything I have to the, to this game, and um, you know, at the moment I think it's time that uh, I move on and, and start to do something different with my life. He has an absolutely fantastic career um, as an Australian growing up, <laughs> going and playing for your team, captaining them, winning trophies, captaining your country. You know. And coming over here and, yeah. and playing more than 60 times for Quinns. Um, how do you look back on it all? It yeah. must have been an absolute blur over the last 14 years. Yeah, look, it has. And you don't probably start thinking about it until, you know, when I you know started thinking about it and talking about it with my wife a couple of months ago. You don't really sort of appreciate that until until you look back at it. And you look, I've been very lucky to play not only for some great teams, but with some great people. Uh, as you said, I was you know, lucky to captain my state, which is Queensland, which I grew up, you know, worshipping as a kid, same with my, my country, you know, every, every kid's dream is to play for his country and not only play but to captain my country uh, in some big tournaments was huge and then to come over here and, you know, fell in love with a club that uh, welcomed me in with open arms has been, you know, amazing and I've, I just feel very lucky. And what have been your favourite moments out there on, on a pitch, be it, be it here or over in oh, Australia? Look, I think it's, you know, back home, definitely the Super Rugby title. Um, you know, the, probably the backstory of that made it a little bit more sweet. You know, we were we were the laughing stock of the league in 2007. Uh, no one wanted to be part of us. We had people leaving, and a lot of people stuck together. And you know, we ended up winning it at home. Uh, you know, beating the Crusaders, and you know that that will always stick with me. Uh, captaining my country for the first time and winning the Tri Nations that was obviously a huge moment for me. And obviously, captaining my country against um, you know the World Cup and also against the British and Irish Lions, where we didn't obviously have the success we would have liked, but still a, a proud moment. And, and here at Quinns, um, look, there's been a lot of games. Any time we've played Saracens at the Stoop, it's been huge. Um, you know, I like these rivalry games. It means a lot to me. And I think that's what makes sport, particularly rugby special, is these rivalry games. And yeah, look, at, you know, some great away games where we've, you know, guys have dug deep and we, you know, and I think that's the thing I miss the most is the, is the is the group and the, the camaraderie you get post game and and I think that's um, that's what you miss most about the game and you know I'm excited to make the most of these last four weeks and and see you know hopefully we can get some silverware to finish finish off and uh, for the trophy cabinet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you've been captain of pretty much every single team that you played for, really yep. that sort of domestically and your country mm. as well. Um, is that just an amazing feeling to to have led every single team out that you've played for? Yeah, look, I mean, it, it, look, it, it, I'm very lucky to do it because of the people that have been in those teams and I've been given that opportunity and it's not because of me, it's because of the people that you play with and that's, I'm still a big believer of that. Um, I'm just lucky to get the armband, so to speak, in in, uh, in English chat. You know, look, it, it's, I've been very lucky to be able to captain these, the, the teams that I've played for, um, but even lucky to be part of groups that have allow me to do that and allow me to play that part. So look, it, it is nice. It looks, you know, when you look back, it's nice on the, you know, on the on the CV at the end of your day when you when you play rugby and you've been able to captain some fantastic teams and goes on an honour board. But you know, that's not what important to me. It's about the team and the the, the relationships and the bonds you've made with the people throughout the years. So obviously, you came over here in, in 2015. Um, more than 60 times, like we've said. Mm. Co uh, captain, co-captain, big wins, and yeah. always, always been at the heart of our second row. Um, have you sort of got everything out of what you wanted to achieve when you came over to England? Because that's obviously a big, a big step for you in your late twenties, early thirties. Yeah, look, it was. It was, um, you know, it was something that I w always wanted to do. Um, being my mum coming from the UK uh, from a young age, I'd always wanted to play in the UK and test myself and. You know, I, I probably a few injuries have probably stopped me from playing as much as I'd liked, and probably as much as the club would have liked. But you know, um, I've really enjoyed my time here. It, it, it certainly probably re-energised re my love for the game coming here uh, after leaving Australia. It was probably time to move on and do something different. And you know, I'll always be grateful for the club, not the, not just the players, the staff, and particularly the fans for taking me in because it was. Um, yeah, it's been it's been amazing, and I've been very lucky to be a part of it. There's a host of young players throughout this team, um, and I'm sure you'll be keeping an eye out on Quinn's mm. results from 
from here going forward? What can this team achieve? I think the you know the sky's the limit, really. Um, you know, obviously, I think this year we've put ourselves in a position. Now we've got to kick on. Um, you know, I'm, from a selfish point of view, I'd like to win some silverware before I hang the boots up. But I have no doubt that this team, there's some young guys coming through the academy, has been in great shape, and we've got the opportunity to really kick on and make a you know a bedrock of strong talent to go forward and you know be the backbone of this club for you know the next 10 years and I know you know obviously we've had some great players for England you know your Robbos your Dannys your Brownies but you know I think the next crop of them are coming through and they will be the backbone of this club uh, for the next 10 years hopefully. And finally Kev what's what's next for you what's the next venture obviously you guys a young family over over here. What's yeah I'm like? slowly working that one out um, I'm hoping to try and do some more study um, and we'll, you know, whether that's here or, or back home. Um, but yeah, at this stage, we're not, with nothing, nothing set in stone, so uh, open to opportunities. But yeah, looking forward to just doing something a little bit different and putting my energy into something else.